part of the Teal Curtain. You know who he is. He comes on every week. Part of JFL Live. You know who he is. Big John Henderson, baby. Big John. Woo! My boy, Big Head, dude. Oh, what's up, man? I got a special cat. You know what time it is. It's football time. It's football time. That's what time it is. And I got my boy, Big Stroud. What up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it. You know it. You know it. No, no. <laughs> I was not ready. <laughs> yes. Seven, what's going on, Big Head? What's cracking, baby? Ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing. Hey, man, we just ain't glad you'd be on this show with me, dog. It's the season for the start. That's and right. uh, they just wanted to see the big dog, you know, talk about the season, what's coming up. Hey man, I'm here in the building, man. I'm like, hey, it's a it's an interesting season, so I'm 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 just ready to see what's gonna happen. That's bad. That's bad. Tony, we got Tony's corner right now. What you got, Tony? For me? Hey man, Tony's corner. Y'all know what's going on. Listen, first of all, always as level, we like to thank all the teachers that's putting in big efforts around the world. And first thing I want to do, I'm gonna bring it out so we can talk about it. Lord have mercy. Did y'all see the write-up? Fournette said he finally gets to play with a good quarterback. What's up with that, Stroud? <laughs> <laughs> the truth shall set you free. It is what it is. You going to play with the GOAT, and, you know, Fournette is played behind Blake Bortles and Gardner Minshew and Nick Foles, so it's no slight on those guys, but it is what it is. It, it, it is, man. You can't even, you can't, it, it's not hiding it. It is what it is. He's playing with the truth. It's no, no down to Minshew or whoever Foles and all them. It's just what it is. Y'all, y'all know it. So let's stop playing around the book. It's what it is. But do all well, go win tomorrow, though. So don't forget that. We go win tomorrow. We go win tomorrow. Anybody against the fact that we're going to win tomorrow, hit me up, because I'm telling you, we're going to win tomorrow. I hope we win tomorrow. I definitely do. If anybody should be upset, it should be Gardner Benson, because they are, boy, good gosh. Man, well, if this if this man pull out a winning season, we definitely should keep him as the starting quarterback, because he might be a magician, man. They taking all his wins. He ain't got no, man, they making it tough on the brother, man. Hey, Stroud, you know how, you know how it is when they say, you know, they talk about it. They don't talk about it. They talk trash. That, sh that shit come in here, it, it, it makes you pissed off. So I know he made Because I was mad how they used to talk about us. Oh, we ain't going to beat nothing? Oh, this what y'all think? Oh, keep talking that junk. Keep talking. We just come out there and show you, man. It, it was to the point, man. I mean, I could be in the club. I'm going to tell you, oh, y'all don't believe in us. I think we was over four. I said, y'all don't believe in it. I was so pissed and I was in the club. I was like, y'all finna get this thing stopped. And y'all gonna believe in this Duval thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And it was just, it's just a passion, man. And I know that's why I believe they gonna come out fire, bro. That's why they gonna come out fire because they on fire right now, bro. But, but tell me this now. I, I, look, okay. First of all, we got a great wide receivers coach. So I'm not worried about the wide receivers performance because I believe wholeheartedly in my boy. K Mac gonna make sure they're right. We all agree on that. But we got a bunch of rookies out there. But Stroud, let's be honest about something. With a bunch of rookies, come a bunch of guys with chips on their shoulder that'll come play for you. No doubt about it. And it also comes with a bunch of mistakes. <laughs> no, I'm just being for real. And and and, and when you already roster wise are playing against some teams that are more have more depth or uh, better on paper, yeah. it's going to be hard to compete with a bunch of rookies because those guys have that experience. Now, I'm not knocking it. I'm just, you know, telling you what ride we need to be prepared for. Yeah. Let's take this to your rookie year. What was it like when you first came in the league coming from Georgia, uh, being a great player in college to the NFL? What was your first year like? Can you tell us some of the trials and tribulations you had during that first season? Absolutely, man. My rookie year, I stepped out there and, uh, Everybody was driving Ferraris and Porsches, and I was in a damn Yugo. <laughs> everybody, the game felt like it was fast, man. It was fast. Everybody was, I'm like, shit, these old guys moving just as fast as me. I was supposed to be the rookie. And, and they're moving, and they got the knowledge behind it. So yeah. it was, you know, I, it, I had to 
I had to um, lean on guys like Tony Brackett and, and Gary Walker to, to, to teach me the game, to how to how to practice and, and how to be a pro, and, and that's what it was. Yeah, man. And, and for, for you, John, or for both of y'all, I mean, so so your rookie, everybody's rookie season is that season that you say, okay, I'm gonna show them what I can do. But for Jacksonville, to me, a lot of people don't give them a the wrong credit because I guarantee you. If we were talking about New England and New England had a bunch of rookies, everybody would say, oh, man, he got a plan. <laughs> but but because it's Marone, they say, oh, Lord, we giving up. No, no, no. It, it's not that. It's because we've sat back and watched for over a decade Bill Belichick implement his, 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 his playbook, his plan with Johnny Go-Go off the street and still win games. Right. Ain't nobody else done that. So until other people do that, when you, when when you see a whole bunch of rookies start, right, people gonna be skeptical. Cause like I say, when we had a great team, yeah. people were still kind of skeptical what was going on. So they had to win those guys over. So you imagine <laughs> a team that don't have that kind of track record show up with seventeen rookies on opening day. They gonna think the, the fan base and most of the people in the media based on past experiences, they gonna be like, man, this is a tank job. <laughs> so about you, John, what was it like for you rookie season? What did you drive rookie season? I hope it's better than a ball, but I mean, I see you sound like, you know, a Corvette maybe, a, a Lexus truck. Would you? I, I think I came up in there with that SS and Polly and that green, green truck, green Denali. Ooh. I think that's what I came up in there with. It was a green Denali. <laughs> Uh, Marcus, what was the first car you bought? Me or John? You. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the first car I bought was like a, a Cadillac DeVille back in the day. Was that the <laughs> big bodies? <laughs> yeah. But now, now those analogies now, at, at the beginning, the analogies I was just talking, I see we just transitioned the cars now. We yeah. have none of the cars I was talking about. I was just talking about that. that's how fast they were moving. <laughs> now, so that hey, matter of fact, John, that old um, that old Impala, I bought that Impala from you, man. I just ended up selling that Impala, yeah. and and I sold the Impala, and it broke my heart, man. I sold oh, the Impala, man. yeah. You know all the extra little work I done on it. I yeah. sold the Impala, <laughs> and the guy didn't have it less than a damn month, and he blew up the engine and everything in the car. <laughs> Oh, man, man. That's yeah. Look, I remember, I, I don't know if y'all remember this, but I remember when Reggie Nelson first came on. And uh, two things I remember about Reggie Nelson, and, and I don't remember if it happened to you, Marcus, but I remember Reggie Nelson at the, at the stadium, and they were talking about, you know, playing all the tricks and jokes on him, and he had just bought that car, and he said, I don't care what y'all do. Y'all touch my car? Somebody better be ready to start right now. <laughs> hey, he, he talking about uh, it was somebody that uh, before that did a did, a rookie did something and they sold they they sent this car off somewhere and I yep. can't and I can't remember I don't know if you did, remember that. Did Mark Brunel ship somebody call? Somebody yeah, ship somebody call somewhere. Yeah, Drew, Drew told, <laughs> I think Drew told me or something like that. I can't remember, but I, I don't know if you remember that or not. Nah, I, I, what I they do to you, Marcus? That rookie Hayes. Yeah, what they do, Marcus? You say, no, nah, man. See, I was, I was smart. You know, uh, <laughs> I was, I, I never, I was the rookie that got cool with the vet, so I never crossed their path. So you know what I mean? I, I was their little guy. I was their guy when I came in. So you know, I wasn't hard headed. I didn't try to buck the system like the rest of the rookies. So. They took me under their wing, and I didn't end up doing that. But they, they, cause they passed it off on the folks that was like, "I ain't gonna do this and do that." You know what I mean? That's all they would. At the end of the day, they just want to see you being willing to come in and, and and be like a brother into the slash fraternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the fraternity. Now, John had to sing. So, Marcus, I know you had to sing. What did you have to sing? Oh man, yeah, I, I definitely sung. Um, I think I had to sing a little Luther Vandross. You know what I mean? I had a little <laughs> rhythm, so I, I had to give him something. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I saw, Shaq. 
Who? <laughs> my son, Shaq. First off, you can't sing, Shaq. He was a terrible rapper, and you were too. Hey, man. You know, that rapper nah. Shaq Fool or something like that. Man, we didn't even know who listened to nah, him. No, nah, no, nah, let me continue. I'm going to be like the rock and see what next on the menu. <laughs> My take up, the remnant round back up. House up into Mecca. Boom, shaka, laka, laka. Yo, come on, style, man. Those was some words right there, man. Who memorizes a Shaquille O'Neal verse? <laughs> you do yourself, man. Big John Harrison does. <laughs> You got no back for him? You can't spit some rhymes at him? No chat rhymes? <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna get off football for a second, man. What 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 you been up to, man? What you what you got going, man? man yeah. Uh, number one thing I got going is staying out the way. <laughs> I ain't one of them hard headed ones, man. I kinda believe what's going on. So I'm gonna try to, you know, I stay out the way. I right. do volunteer coach. I got a high school football team. I coach with up in Atlanta, uh, Riverwood, um, okay. in a charter school. So you know what I mean. Um, and shoot, that's about it, man. I, so I, I, you know, I, I was skeptical about coaching, man. So what you're doing is, are you just you have to go every day, right? You got to go. Yeah, I just I go after school. I go every day after uh, school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So are you? Uh, like committed, you gotta be there. It's like, I mean, I'm. Hey, it's just like a. It's basically just like a job. I'm on the staff, so I'm there oh, every day, okay. like the other coaches. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but you know, we have practice every day, and um, we game plan on the weekends. And I mean, it's just a mini version of what we always done. Right. So I, I'm gonna say this. So one of the fans hit me up a couple of weeks ago because they was talking about John, uh, not coaching, and then. They brought up a good point. They say, you know, the big guys don't never want to go back and coach the pros. It's always the little guys that want to go coach the pros. <laughs> and they said, what's wrong? I said, well, they're trying to keep them going to jail because they know exactly how they work. <laughs> Would you coach in the pros, Trump? Oh, absolutely. I mean, not now. I, would, I mean, not now. I, I, like when once I started stop playing and everything, if I would have jumped into it right there, no doubt about it. But not now at, at, at the age I'm am now, you know what I mean? I can't go in and be in a GA assisted or do a no run and go and get people coffee and crap like that. So you know <laughs> And that's just I, and I know you I understand you got to work your way up and all that stuff, but I feel yeah. like I know a little football. I, I need to be in there. Right, right, yeah. What do you think about trying to get into the game? Right? Not trying to uh, forge my way in. Right, right. But you should have to forge your way in. And I've always said this, especially that with man, that boss. That, I mean, that sound, that, that sound good, man. You know, but you know, the, the reality of it is, is me and John and guys like us, we got that experience. But you know. That GA that's cool with whoever in the front office got a better chance of getting that job. And that's just what it is. Yeah. And I don't think people and, and our audience, a lot of people ask me that all the time. And that was a that was a big question last week when we had Big Sofa on there. Yeah. So they said, somebody sent me a text and said, Well, I don't understand something. Big Sofa, Marcus Stroud, John Henderson, all these guys right here in Jacksonville. Why are they coaching? And I said, I said, you know, a lot of politics and, and it's dumb because, you know, if you're a GM that's uh, that's a GM like the GM we got in Jacksonville, no pun intended, y'all don't take that personal, but he better get all the people he can. <laughs> got some so, you know what? I, I look at it like this, and I could be wrong, but I look at it like this. Let's, let's say, right, <laughs> if, if, if you were head coach, or uh, you a GM, or you something like that, right? And you bring on a John Henderson, and, and and the people that you got in front of a John Henderson or Marcus Stroud may not have had that knowledge that we have, but they may have been in coaching longer than we have. Once we go to try to speak our voice, the guys are going to listen to who first? John Henderson or the you. other coach? They probably going <laughs> to listen to John Henderson. So the 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 guys up the head coach and the upper guys they don't want to deal with that power struggle because at the end of the day the guys are going to relate to other guys who've done this and who actually know what they're talking about. Uh, then 
uh, uh, another guy who may not have done it or who may have done it and not even been good at it. You know what I mean? Yep. And and I and I, I understand that because you know I asked Big John the other week. Uh, Mike Tice is a coach that I really I I I mean I think he's a great coach. I mean he got screwed over on some you know different things, but I mean hell I haven't talked to a player yet that wouldn't play for him or wouldn't work for him. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so John, one of the fans want to know when you dropping that uh, rap song on SoundCloud. People want to hear you, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Was bro. That's why I was laughing because I heard saw that man. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna probably drop it next week. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do it like this. Be here, you gotta we do a song, man. Uh, come on, we gonna put some music together. We nah, put some music uh, together and, and, and... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm call up. Who we got? Who we got on floor that listen to the music? Oh, we gonna call Mincy. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, I'm all for that. Yeah. <laughs> Big Head Production. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am down for that. Oh man, what, hey, hey John, oh. just let me do the intro, baby. Let me bring <laughs> Mince on the beat, John on the bars. <laughs> Let's go, Stroud on the hook. Guaranteed classic. Oh, hey, straight. You bet. I guess I, we're gonna take it to the house. I'm gonna tell you who I just got off the phone with before the show, man. Ray Helm. Ray. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and you know the F word was used about four or five times before he got off. My boy, he, you hey, he listen. Got on the phone for thirty seconds because he was at a golf match. He said, "The next day, I gotta go. I'm in a tournament." So oh yeah. I'm oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, answer your effing phone when I call. When I call you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to tell you this. I got to say, man, when I look at my best D-line coat, and, and I, I know I go through, I like Wall from Oakland, but Ray, just because what Marcus and y'all were just talking about, he played D-tackle or D-in. He was in the trench. He understood everything. And that's what that's why the bond was so good, and that's why someone took that bond away too. This that's real talk, and uh, you know Stroud, he already know that moment. I'm oh, so freaking crushed! Absolutely, crushed. I was the hey, you know I know I was the first casualty. Oh, <laughs> man. I was the first man. casualty. I definitely know. And and, hey, then, hey, and especially that. Hold on, we can talk about that one because hold on, man. And all he had to do. I'm telling you, I gotta tell you, it's let him rest. He 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 was in there, he just started, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Him, him, yeah, hair, him, that him. All Stroud had to do was rest, but they keep talking, oh, where you go? Oh, and he he had to, he went on out there. He went out there, but he wasn't ready. But then when we see him in Buffalo and he rested, he destroyed. I'm like, what the I mean. Really? And we got rid of that. I want to, I ain't gonna get into that part. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, that's how they so when, John, so when he, when they got rid of him, how did you feel? Shit, the I same mean, way it, when they it, got rid of Ray and they got rid of him, I said, well, there it is. But guess what? I knew I still had to play mad as hell. And it was, you know, I just didn't get it, man. It was, it, was, it didn't make sense. Cause I know why he went back out. Cause they was, we we you know we we they talked to us. I I've seen it. I know why he went back out. It is you know, it, it it pissed me off. I hated it. You you took away something that we what we gonna do now? You know so you know I ain't gonna get too much into it, y'all. I start hey, getting. Hey, hey, but <laughs> I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get into something that that that's proud because I, I you know. Me and John know each other shit I, forever and ever. Since dinosaurs were on Earth, <laughs> y'all own. I've, I've, I've been around Marcus and John. And, and so, you know, it's funny because being around both of y'all, and, and a lot of people, when they watch our show, they're just amazed. And I always say, being around both of y'all, watching y'all go through and watching the two giants form, because when y'all formed them two giants, Y'all was the most unstoppable. And people used to ask me, 
how them guys are when they get off work. And I said, man, they're just regular guys. It's, it's, it's the Dude, funniest thing ever. Yeah, we, they're just as normal I, as ever. Hey, so <laughs> you have to realize, man, we was unselfish with each other. Yes. It didn't matter. It's like, uh, John, when you play the one technique, yeah, okay. That Stroud, okay. I know why y'all doing it. His step is faster than mine. I got all of that. I didn't, I, this is how I always been. When we're, we're, you go to people's strength. If that's what he got the first step, then go. Then I play right here. Stop. I'm still getting, I'm still making plays. I'm still doing the same. And you know, cause people look, yeah, I, I'm not just trying to say that. I'm just, I just know yeah. how you're the best person I work with. It was better. I mean, I know play with Richard. I love Tommy Kelly. It was, it was awesome. And I love Rob Meyer. But I just know what we had. And then we would have stayed together long if Jacksonville would have had a ring. That's real talk for me. Man, that's I real just, talk. That's I, I truly believe that. Because you put no it doubt, because that, that Because the year we just – yeah. Even coming off that injury, we had just beat Pittsburgh, went to the second round, all that stuff. So I'm already excited for the all season. You know so what I'm saying? Man. I'm, coming, I'm talking about I didn't got, I mean, I didn't got Look, ready, ready. Man, we was ready, man. We was so we was ready. It's like when that end was like we wasn't down, we was ready. And then they it's sent me like, to the NFL graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark, let's go back to when you uh after your rookie year, John came in. What was it like when you first met him? How did you feel when they drafted him? And then what made you guys be so good together, like that bond? Hey, man, listen, I knew John from college. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? <laughs> SEC East. We, we, we do this. Yeah. So I already knew what I was getting. You know what I mean? I didn't see them terrorize my old line already. And, and <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I'm like, whoa. Because to be honest, I'm just going to be 100. Right, John did every D tackle a favor in 2000 when he said, "Okay, I'm gonna come back to school for one more year." He did us so he did us a favor because he made everybody else money go up a little bit. John would have been the first DT tackle taken that year. He was coming off the what uh, the uh, outback outland or something. That's, yeah, that's you know. The next year, people don't realize this. John fell to Jacksonville that next year because he had a high ankle sprain his senior year and played with a high ankle sprain. If he did like the because his junior year was my senior year, we was all balling that year. But John was was <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean. So so it it, it was cool, but he he you know. And I just saw a question pop up here, so I got to go and, and, and allude to this. Now, me and Big John, I don't care what nobody say, defensive ta tandem wise. Oh, John Albert, Richard Seymour, are you back? <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, in the NFL, hold on, that's what I'm getting to. In the NFL, in the NFL, I am pressed to, hard, um, to find a better duo than Marcus Stroud and John Henderson in the NFL. Uh -huh. Now, in college, I was pressed to find a better duo than Marcus Stroud and Richard Seymour. That's all I'm going to say. Hey. <laughs> our situation at Tennessee, I, I don't know, y'all. It was it was a lot. I, I, I would have to go through a whole session of, of Y'all had problems. Y'all had kind yes, of was, man. You I saw had, it? Everybody I saw That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm well, saying. we was going, it was going from Albert to, to Rashad. It kept moving. I had a little detackle, a medium-sized detackle. Albert, go back to here. Dude. Yeah, see, y'all never kept a, y'all never kept a, y'all always rotating. Oh, my, kept God. A oh my yeah. God. Hey, I got to tell the story, and I'm finna show you. This happened in college. Kick, uh, uh, this is my little D tackle that we had playing. Kendra, Kendra. And he know I'm right, so he can call me if he needs to uh, verify. <laughs> so, <laughs> he went from tight end, he went from tight end, and he, he didn't get to play, so he came in the meeting with a trench coat on. What? That in the back. With a trench coat on. You gonna shoot everybody up? <laughs> no, I don't, I, we, we just kept looking. We looked and we got the meeting. We looked and got the meeting. And then next practice, he was starting right beside me. What? 
Hey, I can agree with Marcus then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he got it, sorry. <laughs> You can have the trench coat mafia next to your job. I'm Marcus, you winning, bro. If anybody got anything to say about that story, I, I come to me. I go call Rashad Moore. Hold on, hold on, God. I got one for you better. Uh, might be better than that. What's that? My freshman year in college, it was the Georgia Florida game. We had this defensive tackle on our team. His name was Baba Shaw. We used to call him barbershop because he talked all the time like the old man in the barbershop. Yeah. Man, all week the coach had told him, hey man, we get we getting out of Florida, we gonna play you. Boo, boo, boo. Man, we were playing, it was 1996. We were playing the Gators. We started off, it was seven to zero. I was like, okay. Champ picked off a uh touchdown and took it all the way back. Woo, Florida just scored 47 unanswered after that. <laughs> so in the third quarter, we like getting our heads beat in, right? So you know that's the time where like, you know, hey, we get our head beat in, somebody go get some playing time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My man, if you go watch the TV copy of this game, you will see it. My man in the middle of the game goes to the sideline. He looking up at the coach's box like, <laughs> in, the middle, it's in the middle of the game, bro. I ain't never seen that that crazy in my life. And then he yelling at the coach, do unto others as you do unto to yourself. The Lord doesn't like this. So you got what's better than that? Man, I've never cried on the sideline. So, man, I was over there in tears, bro. I ain't never seen that that funny. <laughs> So you got one better than that. I'm waiting on that one. <laughs> oh, man. Now I got to go back and watch the game. Oh, my goodness. Hey. That's cool. I got to get myself together, man. Y'all crazy, How's man. How's it playing with Seymour? Huh? How was it playing with Richard? Oh, man, it was cool, man. Richard was cool, man. See, Seymour, he... he uh. Richard Big Smooth, man. You know what I mean? He, you ain't going to get much of a rise out of him either way. You ain't gonna never know when he too bad or too. Hey, he, when he, you he, get that rise, when you get that rise, it's one thing I have seen. When that sucker got mad, bruh, I said, I said, if he, I know he plays, but if he play like that and all the time, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, it's yeah. like he just took, he got down. Man, he like he said, he's smooth. He didn't say he was mad. He uh, oh, dude, he got down. They said hi. It seemed like he thumped the guy, and he went straight back. He picked him up and carried him to the back and made the play, bro. It was, I said, dude, this dude right here is just like Albert. When Albert gets mad, oh, God. It's like unbelievable. You when you guys have those tandems like that, can you feel each other? Like, you know what he's going to do? Like, like uh, what's the difference when, uh, when you play with John, like how he did it, or was like, the other guys, like, how do you We not, never talked. We, it was a look, baby. We had yeah, to do yeah. that, but look, it was a look. We knew what what's we the look, knew. What's it look like? What's okay. it look like? Okay, okay, you gotta, <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look. Sir. That, that look right there. But, yeah, but you know, it's it's other little details. You have to, when you're, when you watch a film, you don't watch yourself. You you watch your part. I watch. I watch Stroud. I watch Reggie. You see what they do. You watch them, so you can know. That's the how you get the feel. You gotta. Oh, I see. Okay. And the, if, and, and, and that's like it, if Big Baby do this, he come. Uh oh, he might be coming inside. So and, and, I'm gonna and, play a and, little against it. And the crazy thing about it is. We got the feel, but a lot of the stuff, just like you said, came from watching film because we watch a film and like, okay, oh, so if this guy do this, Big John, you good at doing this. All of them going to jump on you like this, so I'm going to shoot it here and then you can wrap right off me after this. Or or, or they, oh, they, he going to jump out. Once he see you line up right here, baby, he going to jump out. So I'm just going to come over here, boom, and then you cover up and make sure I'm right. Yeah. Easy. No problem. That's what we used to do. Yeah. Now, here's a, here's a hard question for both of y'all. This is a hard question for both of y'all. Look, y'all always been the dynamic duo. There will be none better that I've seen yet. So, 
the dynamic duo, who was the plus one with you guys that 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 stuck in your mind as being the best plus one when y'all played? Ooh. I don't, know. Ah! I don't know about us, man. I, I like I always say, I tell anybody, if you give me John Henderson and Mike Peterson behind me, you give me two fine men off the street that I can make it happen, promise you. <laughs> Yeah. So that's how I always run by it. I'll, I'll, Cause I know, and the reason I say that is, I know for a fact we finished in the top 10 in defense with me, John, and Mike P. And we had two different defensive ends every other week that was brand new guys. Yeah. Yep. Mike yep. P, I, yep. I, I, I agree with you because first of all, and I hope Mike P watching this, Mike crazy as hell. <laughs> first of all. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. The heart, hey, but he's he's the hardest hit man. When he's so you when you look at him like, no, he's not a middle linebacker. All right, let's come through the hole. You'll see. Yeah, he he, he was the hardest hit little dude ever. <laughs> oh, he is, man. I'm telling you, they don't, hey, but don't get it. I don't think P. I don't think P. weighed over two thirty. No, no. <laughs> no. Matter of fact, he the same size now as he was when he played. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't gained no no pounds, man. No pounds. He look exactly the same. <laughs> exactly. Hey, so Marcus, so you're known for dancing. <laughs> who helped who helped you learn to dance? You know, what made you dance like that? Like, are you a better dancer than John? Oh, see, so there you go. Uh, yeah. I was oh, like, yes. yes. Are you serious? Wow. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Now listen, I give do what it's do now. But now John, John good with the hype man and everything. But now when it comes to that rhythm, okay, and the intricate dances and everything, boom, that was all baby. <laughs> <laughs> so John saw your dance moves, huh? You were teaching him on the practice hey, you know how man, to dance. Man, I ain't listen. <laughs> I, hey, I, I just hey, but real talk. And John, I want you to hear me. And I don't want anybody to get offended by this. But if you do, I don't care. John Henderson, you should be getting compensation. You know that, because I don't care what nobody say. What none of these people around here hollering Duval at the game until my dog started hollering all that Duval stuff around this city. Wow. I said the same thing. <laughs> and I, I, said the same I, thing. I, I, I now, all this YouTube and everything we got, I implore you to go back and find to tell me who was Holly Duval before John in 2002. Hey, I said it. I said Big John started it. I've been saying it for years. Man, I, 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 they took that right. They took that off. That's all right. That's cool, man. But, hey, you... You you might not, not not don't get it twisted, Jacksonville. Now I'm not saying John started Duval ten around the city. Absolutely not. He can't have that credit. But as far as <laughs> um, All Tail Stadium, um, Jacksonville Memorial, and uh, whatever it is now, yeah. what is ever bank now? Yeah, um, no, I changed it again. TIAA yeah. Bank. TIAA Bank. Well, when we were there, it was uh, well, hey. no. My first year was all tail. They did it. They yeah. didn't even have a name. We we went. That's how you know we were good. We didn't have a name on our stadium for about four <laughs> years. People thought of them out around here. What did this call stadium? Something? Jacksonville Memorial. They just called it Jacksonville Memorial. We didn't even have a name. All tail. All tail ran out on us, and we didn't even have no sponsor. Remember, I'm serious. Oh, that's crazy. Think man. about it. We didn't have a name for a few years, right. bro. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Man. That, 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 now that tell you how y'all getting old. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, listen though. <laughs> I understand why Altair got out of the David Wright's business. I remember this my hey, my rookie year. Never forget it, man. I did a little deal with Altair. They gave me a phone, and I couldn't call out to nobody. I got no coverage with that Altair phone. I say, man, what are y'all coverage working? <laughs> <laughs> Man, why they with I ain't never heard all tail again. They and somebody must have bought them up. They merged with somebody, but boy, their coverage was subpar. <laughs> hey, so Marcus, what was it like getting drafted? Tell us the process. What was like? Uh, was it what we expected it was going to be like? Was it better? 
Uh, what was it like coming out of Georgia and, and going through the process? Tell the fans what it was like for you. And what did you did? And what did you first like, spend your first million like, dollars on? Huh? I feel like a piece of meat sitting up Man, there. I put my first, oh, you want to know, I put my first million dollars in the damn bank and told my people to make it work. I didn't, I didn't go spend all this stuff, man. I, I listen, I'm from Barney, Georgia. I ain't ever had that, all that stuff. And, and I got a few of the things, but the rest, I, I quickly realized I didn't need the other shit I wanted. So, <laughs> I, like, I'm <laughs> trying to put my money in the bank, man. Okay. Hey, you know what? Out. So, and hey, you're a hometown hero, man. And, 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 and I, I know that. Um, and, and it's funny when you have hometown heroes because when people, people drive into your town, they see that statue of you bigger than the mayor. They see your name, big name of you, and then the mayor's name that small. That's when you know you really made it. <laughs> you got a statue. You got yeah. a statue. No, man. I, I had a I had a sign and they took it down because they said I was a degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey man, bro, they took it down for real, bro. I I promise you they took man, it down, that, dog. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. Well, now, listen, I'm going to tell you the real reason. I'm from a small town, right? They took it down because the dude that put it up got into it with my aunt. <laughs> they wow. took it down. Oh, man. But guess what, man? Listen. They know. They know. You can't, you can't hey, change hey, it. Hey, hey you can know. take it down, but you can't erase history, baby. You can't erase it, baby. You can't erase history. <laughs> I feel like, oh, hey, you know, sometimes I feel like, well, I'm old Fever or somebody. You, you can't erase history. You can't push me out. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, Marcus, let me ask you something. Because I asked John, and then he went ballistic a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to ask you. Oh. John, turn your head. Turn your head, John. Hey, so, 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 Marcus, put yourself in, your, in this situation this year. And first of all, look at it as a rookie. If you were a rookie, would you play during this pandemic? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you was a veteran, would you play? Um. Yes. Because, like hold on. He, he's a single veteran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you can do him like that? But I'm saying he, he would have been, he's a, he, at that time, he was a single veteran. I still, I still will play. That's what that's, you see. He ain't coming if home. You're married, Marcus. If you're married, would you play? Yes, with kids. I know that's this. The question is kept getting. <laughs> it's deeply, deeply. That is deeply. That's a little sketchy right there. It's sketchy. Yeah, it's, it's sketchy. Now, if it, you know, if it's just me and my wife, you can, you can. That's a no-brainer. Okay. Okay. Now, if, it, if we got kids, we got to sit back and have a little conversation. Just for the simple fact is, I know when I was a rookie, when I was my first second year, I ain't going to be doing all the shit properly like it need to be done to be protecting everybody. Which you, no, I'm just being 100. Which you've already seen a case of that already. Exactly, yes. Because you, cause you're a rookie. I mean, you're still, what, 18, 19 years old? When Man, you come, come on, I'm 20, 21 years old. With a listen, I'm 21 years old. I got money in my pocket, yeah. right? And then I got half of a government that's telling me I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Hey, so 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 people don't understand this, so I'm, I'm gonna put you on the spot. If you were single and a rookie, would you try to sneak somebody in the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> You talking, talking about week after week and you can't... Are you trying to ask me to be... Uh, listen, are you trying to set me up, man? Do you want me to tell you the truth or you just asking some questions the, 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 the feel, oh. are we feeling time? You, you say, would you, would you... Now, if we, if we feel the time, let me know. Listen, I don't know who fit that text, but a groupie bubble would not work. Why not? <laughs> Why wouldn't a groupie bubble not work? I mean, keep the player safe, right? Hey, that was John's idea, by the way. No, no. That was that John Harrison's idea for the groupie bubble. First of all, okay. A groupie bubble would work. Okay. Why? Why? I, I refuse to incriminate myself. 
<laughs> y'all done lost y'all by. I am not finna sit up here and get in no trouble. You think I'm finna sit up here and say and, and tell some of this stuff? Man, I am married now. You think my wife, my man, my wife is gonna see this, man? What are you talking about? No. I ain't finna tell you no crazy stuff like that. <laughs> in front of my wife and everything. <laughs> Oh man, y'all silly, man. Y'all silly. So, so my man got cut from Seattle for trying to sneak a girl in the hotel. They should have cut his ass. They should have cut him twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm mad would he be as a teammate though? Someone doing. Man, come on, like man. That. First off, first off, you know what? They they should have cut him the first time because you're putting everybody else in danger, right? And then I'm gonna cut you again for being so stupid that the best. Disguise you can find was a Seattle hat. That's <laughs> all <laughs> he had for, man. He, she just had the head on. Man, he tried to pass her off as one of the people with a hat on, man. Uh, he tried to use equipment, like, man. I think. I, like, like, listen, I'm, I'm going to, you're going to get fired twice for disrespecting my intelligence, man. At least if you would, if you would have put, if you would have been creative, if you would have been creative and put some thought into it, as a manager of GM, I'd be like, man, you know what, man? This guy has an innovative way of thinking. I, you know what? I might, he might just messed up, but I might keep him on just because, man, his, his mind is awesome. Right. Okay. But boy, when you put on a hat, I'm going to got to get you out of here because you, you too lazy to even try to fool me. <laughs> Come on, bro. He should have dressed up as one of the hotel maids, full uniform. Even a little push man, if you come out, if you if you go all the way in, I guarantee you, they probably would have kept a bit like, man, we got to keep this guy. So we one of the fans this. has a question for both of you guys. So with now with Pro Bowl happening, it's not really a game. You know, people say it's two-hand tap, flag football. It's not fun. What was the experience like for you guys playing in Pro Bowl? And then what was the festivities like leading up to the game for people who never really actually seen the Pro Bowl? What, what 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 does this mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Yo, it was awesome. Like like I don't. Like, what do y'all do during the week? Marcus, you hit somebody in the Pro Bowl, so you weren't playing. Oh no, we played for real. Played and real. hey, and John can attest to me. We went to the Pro Bowl. It's me, John, and Sam Adams. Yeah. Sam Adams played one series in the first half, one yeah. series in the second half, and he said, "Hey." Hey, hey, y'all young boys, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Man, it was, hey, hey, I don't know what the degree was, but it felt like it was 120 out there. We were dying. Me and John looking to the sideline like, we, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm not lying. We over there, we looking at Sam, we like, man, come get one of us, please. <laughs> he looked at us like this. He said, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know about anybody else, but me and John Henderson, we played a full football game at the Pro Bowl. Man, we oh, played, man. You work for that Pro Bowl status. <laughs> so are you disappointed by the Pro Bowl? Because nobody likes the Pro Bowl anymore. I mean, let's face it. In Hawaii, you, get, you don't have Hawaii. You can just. Come on, man. That's Orlando. We always go Hawaii school. makes up to you. Hawaii makes a big difference, right? Hawaii, Hawaii made the Pro Bowl. Yes. Because think about it. Like back in the day, people's goal was to make it to the Pro Bowl so you can get a free trip yeah. for your family and friends. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> goes. For, so, you go to Hawaii. Everybody so you tell goes me to go two Orlando. hours to Orlando. Two hour trip to Orlando for free. Oh, this is Everybody Orlando? goes to Orlando. <laughs> you can be making it many at any time. <laughs> any time. <laughs> but you know, the other thing is, you know, back in the day, the Pro Bowl meant something. It meant that once the AFC was better than the NFC, and the NFC was better than the AFC, it was, a, it was a real challenge. And I know when I was growing up, it was real. And then it turned into where people don't even want to watch it no more. Nobody wants to watch the Pro Bowl no more because it's a joke. And nobody wants to hit. Stroud, you hit people when you was at the Pro Bowl. John hit people. Yeah, we were talking. You're not supposed to do that. 
whole story, we hit people because we was hot and tired, man. We ain't finna run all the way to the ball and not tackle nobody, and you the only two people playing. I'm gonna <laughs> knock the <laughs> when I get there. Exactly. <laughs> That's all it was. It was. It was. It was. We man, we was hitting people because we was hot and tired. We was mad because we were playing all the reps. What's the name? Got to get off the field. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I forgot who that. Uh, I forgot um, his name right now. He was a big boy from Texas. I can't get his name right now. He got mad at me because I went hard. Oh, I know exactly. Larry Allen. I'm going to tell you who it was. Larry, Larry Allen. I know who it was. What did he say to you, John? What did he say to you? Man, it ain't what he said. It what he was looking at me like. He was like, you killed me. Oh, oh, no. Oh. And I said, Tato. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, but listen, though. And John can attest to it because he know I ain't lying. I say, John. I say, man, listen. Because two days before we the Pro Bowl, we had the Pro Bowl um, challenge. The skills challenge? Yeah. yeah. So they tried to get me to go do the challenge. I say, man, I say, John, Big Larry doing that challenge, man. I ain't getting in that. John say, man, I'm going to go over there and do it. I say, I say, John, I say, we got to do the bench press. I say, man, Big Larry going to throw up 225 about 30 times. John say, oh, I ain't studying that. So John went and did the challenge. John got up. Now, John's strong, too. Now, don't get it twisted. John jumped under there. Bam, bam, bam. John hit it about, well, I'm going to say about 25, maybe close to 30 times. Big Larry got under that thing, right? He stopped at like 42. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen. Oh. He stopped at 42. Oh. He didn't put it up. Like, he didn't have to put it up. He stopped at 42. I say, John. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't have your boys back? You didn't have your boys back? You were just, like, laughing? Like, <laughs> but Larry, Larry Allen is a man beyond man. He's a beast. Yeah, he's, man, I had, listen, I had already knew this man rep. I told John for the rip. <laughs> Don't do it. John didn't listen then, huh? Right. He didn't listen. Uh -huh. But then he had told us beforehand, before the practice, he was like, hey, man, listen, man, y'all get in this game. I know y'all some big boys, man. Y'all get in the game. Y'all don't be going too hard out there. So John was like, yeah, man, well, all right, we got it. We ain't going to be going too hard. Larry got in the game, John, went full tilt on him. <laughs> so, Hey, I'm looking over at John. I'm like, man, hey, this is an exhibition now. We out here in this heat, baby. We ain't got to be doing all this right now. I ain't trying to fight this big dude out here today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get John to tone it down a little bit, man. John going full tilt. Pow, wow. pow. First of all, oh hey, Mark, now you know if I went if I went slow with him, he would go carry my behind out the book. See, that's Boy, go, he was going to take you to the end zone. Man, you already you, know it. Man, you see why I did what I did. I'm like, dude, you too strong. You ain't finna do that to me. Me standing right there. You say, and think I'm finna do. No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. We playing football, man. You better get it. Man. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that, was, that was cool, man. It, it was, hey, man, that was, that was cool. Well, has but... anybody ever intimidated you guys on the field? Huh? Did anybody on the opposite team ever intimidate you guys? Come again, you know, say like, what? You <laughs> <laughs> know he did. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real now. Uh, oh. Intimidated? No, 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 no. Never been intimidated. Now it might be. It, it's definitely been some guys that played with us that wasn't intimidated by us. By who? Um. Uh, oh, I'm gonna tell you who used to give us fits. Well, me personally, can't like every time we played Kansas City, like Will Shields, them, them guys, them old school cats. Yeah. They didn't care about all that. They didn't care about all the twin towers and all that stuff. You had to go out there and beat them guys. So yeah. like, but but that's that they they were like uh, Maui, uh, uh, Maui. He 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 did. He knew he could. He wasn't stronger. All he had to do. Oh was, man, that fucker didn't do nothing but hold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, but he just got in the way. Oh, he's the, hey, the <laughs> best hold in the business, man. He used to grab us right here to have us yeah. all up here, man. And just, boy. and just a snatch. But this is the thing about it. This is the thing. 
he used to just grab you like right here and just pull you that much and then let go. And let go. He, it, a quick jerk just to get... Uh, uh, and, but by that time, Eddie George then ran by you. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah. And we hey. look at the ref, and the ref like, we don't see anything. I'm like, man, this See my neck going like this, ref. I'm doing like this. <laughs> but, guess what? but guess what they always saw? They always saw when we were trying to push them back in the face or something. They always <laughs> happened to see that. Hey, so, Marcus, let me ask you this. Because y'all y'all been around football a long time. And and let, let's we, on this show, we can be real. Listen, I know Brady went to Tampa. But is Brady really going to take Tampa to the Super Bowl? I'm going to piss some people off. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm. I'm let's go. I'm gonna tell you like I tell all my friends, right? <laughs> Until Tom Brady and Bill Belichick prove me wrong, together or separately, I'm gonna ride with Tom Brady and Drew. I mean, and, and Coach Belichick. So I think Coach Belichick. So you heard it here first. I think Tam. I think Tom Brady's gonna. If they don't go to the Super Bowl, he's going to make a real strong run for it. Yeah. And number two, I don't think New England is going to fall off as much as people are predicting them to fall off because cause I actually think they might be more dangerous with a healthy Cam Newton. Why do you think that? I agree with that. They got less talent, though. But they got Cam Newton. Cam Newton doesn't, that, Cam doesn't make hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, though. No, no, no. He brings a okay. bagger at public over so, here. So, so this is another thing that I said earlier. That's what we're going to go into, right? We don't know that. We're saying that they left talent, but Belichick seems to bring the best out of some guys that you don't think that's going to happen. So you still got a rookie last year that was supposed to go off, but he ended up getting hurt. So he's healthy now. You still got old, um, what's my man name? Um, my little... Slot receiver still got Julian Edelman. You still got slot guy. He's gonna listen. Yeah. He don't have to be fast. He's gonna be open regardless. Slot man, I call him slot man. Yeah. Slot man can't be covered. <laughs> period. You still got Sony Michelle. You still got James White. And then guess what? If you got a decent O line with a healthy Cam Newton, you still got another thousand yard running back. You got two thousand yard backs back there basically, and one of them just can throw the ball. So yep. with 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 Belichick and Josh McDaniel, you don't know what kind of schemes they cooking up over there. What what quarterbacks had your guys gave you guys fits? Like who did you hate to go against? Man, we went against Peyton Manning twice a year. How dare you ask that question? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so sick. <laughs> hey, it's, listen, it's nothing. He's really else. that great. What makes him so it's, great in your eyes? Like, why do you think he's so great? Because he was a computer. I think he's an Android. Yeah, he just <laughs> he knows it, man. He, he knows the game. He knows the game. They know the game. I, I, I agree. He knows the game. Um, so, so I watched the Kansas City game, Marcus, and, and, and I go back to Jacksonville and I say, boy, I hope our rookies, as good as that rookie that ran for Kansas City the other night, because that boy showed out. <laughs> a rookie. Lord, that rookie showed out. But guess what? When you have 18 different weapons around you, it's easy yeah. for you to do that. Did you see the way he was running? I mean, Andy Reid is sending the guy this way, a guy this way, and just running the ball straight up the middle or throwing it to a, a throwing a screen right behind the O-line. Like when you have it's too many people to focus on just to look at one person. And now Andy Reid is actually running the ball. That's <laughs> them guys are gonna be scary, man. Yeah, they're gonna be. Uh, who's your pick for? The, hey, before we get off this show, listen. I want to hear from Stroud. Who's your pick for the for the Super Bowl? Mm. Oh, oh, because you know everybody gonna ride with you when you say this. <laughs> uh, okay, well, truthfully, Kansas City and Tampa. I think so too. Woo! Kansas City, KC and Tampa and Tampa. Wow. Ooh. Big John, Ooh. Big John, who you got? I'm with Marcus. I'm co-signing. I'm writing that fat check, that the Altel check. You know, this phone oh, service is actually gonna work for him, but you know, I, I, I put you on you're that. You're gonna see, you're gonna see two Florida teams, and that's all I'm gonna tell you. 
Oh, God. Jacksonville going to the playoffs. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with it. Okay. I jump on. Let's go, Duval. Let's go, Duval. Let's go, Duval. Hey, well, Let's listen, go. I'm going to tell you like this. And I'm going to say this, and I know it's about our time to go, but I'm, I'm going to say this. <laughs> Dang, I don't want to say this and it sound bad. Say uh, it. Be real, Marcus. Oh, I'm going to say it anyway. Fuck it. Listen, if we're going to do it, either either we need to go, either we need to win it all or make hey. it all competitive and let's get Trevor Lawrence next year, baby. I'm hey, baby, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> You heard it first. Marcus Stroud Listen. said take or go all the way. You better not let sofa hit it. <laughs> Man, listen. Okay, so guess what? What happens if you give us a valiant seven and nine or eight and eight? You're gonna be sucky next year. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I hate to say it, but like I mean, because at this listen, what other time than now to get a new we got 37 and a half. Stop pile picks for the next draft. This is the time to get you a franchise quarterback. No, yeah, shade, no shade to Gardner Minshew. But if you in the front office don't think that Gardner's the guy, because apparently they can't. Because if they thought that Gardner was the guy, they wouldn't be sh shipping everybody out of here. Correct. I don't think so. I, I agree. Think, no, I, think they, I think they believe he's the guy. No, they don't. You wouldn't get rid of Leonard Fournette, your best offensive weapon, if you want Miss you to succeed. Am I right, Marcus? Man, come on. Still that's the same thing. You going to take away the number one guy that can take the ball out of his hand to help him out? But he got to be He got to be part who's of the, the running, Who's the starting running back tomorrow? He don't even know his name. I understand. No, he hurt. He has the COVID. Uh, he hurt. See, look, you. He did COVID yeah. right now. <laughs> Chris Thompson. Chris Thompson. He very called you. He's the third down back. I believe. Chris gonna roll that ball. What should I, I tell you? So. Oh, man. Hey, 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 we got the rookie. We got the, we got the new rookie. Jag game all day, man. I'm with the Jag. Let's do it, baby. Man, we hey, it's all day, baby. Super Bowl of time. Hey, bro, bro, appreciate you coming on this show, man. I know you gotta go play that golf, get in that nine thing. You know what it is, man. Whatever hey. he played with, I want to know the real scope. <laughs> This is JFL Live, baby, with my big dog, Marcus Stroud, baby. You know what it is. And guess what, Duval? Family, world, we out of here. Peace. Hey, good game tomorrow. Go, God, to miss you. Woo!